Hey folks, this is Kurt Bird, and this is the Bright Side News. We're going to talk to you about all the good stuff going on here in Johnston County, and uh, we hope that it inspires you to maybe take some action and bring some good news yourself to the people around you, and hopefully we'll hear about it. Since the beginning of this pandemic, healthcare workers have been overworked and overwhelmed with everything going on, and it's tough. It's tough for them, tough for a lot of folks, but I think if they didn't have the support of the community, it would be that much tougher. I thank the Lord there's been a lot of good support here in Johnson County for our health care workers. Too many stories to tell, but just this week, just this week, the grocery bag helped serve the night shift over at the UNC Hospital in Clayton at the 4042 area, and JTOPS helped serve the hospital here in the Smithfield location. Now, we at Caroline Packers were able to work with them uh, but we couldn't have got it done without the help of Melissa Brown at FLAG. So that's Frontline Appreciation Group. Without her help, we really wouldn't have been able to organize it all together, and it was really cool to have all of us be able to work together. A big thank you to her, a thank you to Haley and the staff there at the grocery bag, and a thank you to John Thompson at JTOPS for doing this to the workers. I hope they enjoyed the hot dogs and, and the chips and the drinks that they got. And here, Justin's going to go to Melissa Brown right now. We're going to talk about some more stuff with FLAG. Thanks, Kurt. I'm Justin Raymond with Carolina Packers reporting for the Bright Side News. I'm here with Melissa Brown, who actually started a chapter of FLAG in Clayton, North Carolina. Melissa, thanks for joining us today. Hey, Justin. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Awesome. You know, we're really excited about this episode. Um, I think especially as you scroll through social media, there's a lot of negative news going on. But when I'm looking at my Facebook feed, I see a lot going on with FLAG. Um, and I don't know if a lot of people know what FLAG is, um, so I was wondering if you could share that with us. What exactly is FLAG and, and how are they helping the community? Okay, so FLAG stands for Frontline Appreciation Group. Uh, we actually had the idea from a friend of mine, Bev. Her uh, friends up in New Jersey are doing this. So, you know, we're, we're coming off of a big grassroots effort here. Uh, Bev had posted something about her idea, and I, of course, replied. I didn't even know Bev before this. Um, and two days later, FLAG was created. Um, and since then, it's been a little over two months, we've raised $17,000. Wow. And almost every penny has gone right back into local restaurants. And then what those local restaurants do is feed the front line, um, you know, hospital workers, fire department, police department, postal service, um, frontline worker you name it we've fed them wow that's amazing thank you for everything you're doing for the community um you mentioned that you saw someone else post something about this do you have any other ties to um healthcare workers or anything else any other reason why you would get involved with an organization like this the reason that both me and bev got involved is because we're both um immunocompromised and like most of us at home with this pandemic going on, we're thinking, what can we do? There's nothing that we can do from here to help. And so when she posted about that, and she was a stranger, like I didn't even know her. And she said, I have this idea, I wanna do this. Um, I jumped on it because I feel, I feel helpless. Um, I'm safe in my home. These people are out taking care of everybody else. Um, my kids are safe, my husband's safe, we have a job. I feel like the luckiest person in the world and I wanted to do something. And that is, that's why me and Bev both wanted to do this because we could be safe here and get stuff done from afar. Yeah, that's great. I think you hear so many stories about people giving back. I think there's a lot more people that see needs that need to be met, but they don't necessarily do it um, for whatever the cause is. Um, but to see that you actually took initiative, took action steps to make that happen is just incredible. And I hope a lot more people do that, um, especially during this time. Um, earlier, you shared some numbers with us about money donated. Do you know about how many meals you've served or how many healthcare workers exactly you've helped? Of course. Um, so we are close to the 1800 meal mark. Wow. Um, and that's not even counting the donations we got for um, the sunshine cart and what that is is a cart that um, our friend Amanda at the hospital started and what she does is she takes this cart around 
and she serves the daytime shift workers at the hospital with, you know, bananas, oranges, different treats, stuff like that. Um, as soon as I got involved with FLAG doing that, uh, donors were, they just jumped on it. They started sending snacks, um, you know, Compare Foods got involved. They sent uh, donations. We had a couple realtors get involved. We've had, the community has just been amazing with the outpouring of all of the donations. I mean, it's, it's huge. So 1800 meals plus countless donations of, you know, some restaurants just call and say, I want to send so much food that doesn't even go through flag. It, it just got a spark going. And like you guys just donated, you know, so many meals last night to Clayton. Um, and tonight you're donating uh, 150 meals to Smithfield. You know, the community is just coming together and sending stuff over. And it's just been an amazing thing to be a part of. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Um, you know, as we get back to the new normal, you mentioned that you were hanging it up. Um, is there any particular story or, or memory that you remember from what you've done during this time that you'd love to share with us? Uh, yeah, actually, I just got chills chill <laughs> thinking about it. So the first night that we went to Smithfield, um, I usually don't make deliveries myself. I let the restaurant take care of that because, you know, social distancing and all of that. Um, but I went there because we had the Johnstonian there doing a news story. And I met a nurse uh, named Hannah. She's actually on the, on the flag site now. Um, and she was talking about how scary it was for her just to go to work and how stressful it was to be there, to go home. When, you know, when she would go home, she'd be scared to hug her kids. And, um, you know, she'd end up stripping down and showering and just being scared to be at home and it made me really sad and but it it put a fire under me thinking all these people are doing this every day for me for you for everybody that you know it really helped me keep going with this movement uh, that's great thanks for sharing that it definitely gave me the goosebumps too as well right. <laughs> <laughs> just listening to that yeah. um and understanding what they're going through mm -hmm. um so you know we mentioned that you were hanging it up what's next so are you Work on any new initiatives or causes? What do you have going on right now? <laughs> yes. So um, as things are kind of calming down with flag, and, and the reason that's happening is because the restaurants are opening up. So we can't really call up, you know, Dave at First Street Tavern and say, hey, can you do 100 meals for us tomorrow night? Well, he's open. So to mm -hmm. think about doing that, it's not really easy for him. Um, so I started off another idea that I got up from New Jersey, something called Flock a Senior. And uh, because I have a senior myself, so basically we surprise a senior with a whole flock of flamingos, a great big sign that says you've been flocked and a commemorative letter and these great big, le big letters that say grad. Um, we're doing six yards a night and the proceeds were being split between flag and junior women's league of Smithfield for their blessing boxes. Um, and I recently just made the decision that everything that we raised from that, from this day forward is only going to go to uh, junior women's league to put food in the blessing boxes. Wow. Do you know what the blessing boxes are? No, I do not, but it sounds great. <laughs> so, the blessing boxes are these, um, basically these little wooden boxes that are around the county and JWL stocks them with food, diapers, um, uh, toothbrushes, any like necessities that someone that has lost a job or is struggling to feed their kids might be able to stop at one of these boxes and grab what they need. Wow. So do you know where the ones are like in Clayton or Smithfield? You know, if you, I, I know a couple different locations. Can I tell you exactly? Probably not. <laughs> Give us um, a general idea. <laughs> yes, if you go to Junior Women's League of Smithfield, it will show you where those are, um, and it will also show you how to donate. Um, so with this flock of senior, we are getting everything sent over to them, and they're able to stock these boxes. Okay, and is that the website? It, it's a Facebook group, Facebook. and then it will actually take them. Um, you can go to either uh, Johnston's Women's, I'm sorry, Junior Women's League of Smithfield, um, 
on Facebook and there's a website. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks for sharing <laughs> that. Is there anything else, you know, we didn't cover or anything else you'd like to go over before we end? Um, may, maybe I just want to thank all the people um, that has made this possible because I definitely did not do it alone. Um, me and Bev worked crazy hours uh, the first couple weeks, but there are so many people behind the scenes that have helped us make this possible. Um, and the, the smallest of help has made this dream, you know, come true for all of us to keep these meals going. So I just want to thank everyone for, for all the help. Yeah, absolutely. I think what you have done is incredible and what you continue to do is incredible how you're supporting this community and how you're showing love. And I think it's a great example how, you know, what can happen when others take initiative. So thank you for that. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. All right. Well, thanks for having me. All right, Kurt, back to you. All right, folks, we hope those stories brighten your day, showing that even through some of these times, there's a bright side to all this. You got any good news? Share it with us. Talk uh, to your family and friends about some of this stuff. We want to get as much much good news as we possibly can to share it with you folks. Share it with us. Tag us. Hashtag Brightside News. Until next time, this is Kurt Berg with the Brightside News, where we like our hot dogs red, our leaves bright, our fate strong, and our news real good. We'll see you next time.